Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to cover how to use Python 2 and Python 3 in Rel8 Beta. By default, Rel8 Beta does not include Python. But you might be wondering, aren't there a lot of OS tools included with Rel8 based on Python? If we run this command here, we can see that, yeah, there are quite a few tools included in Rel8 based on Python. However, the difference is these are all using a different version of Python called Platform Python, which is reserved for only Rel system tools to use and should never be used directly. And it can cause system-wide issues if it's modified. So you don't want to ever use this Platform Python directly. Now, if you try to run yum install Python, you'll notice that it comes back and says it, there is no package called Python. That's because you need to specify a version, either Python 3 or Python 2. So you can do a yum install Python 3 or yum install Python 2. Or if you run yum module list, you'll see that there is also a module for Python 2.7 and Python 3.6. For more info on uh, modules, please view my previous video on that topic. Now, you'll also notice that there are some profiles listed, and we can get information on these module profiles if we run a yum module info minus minus profile Python 3.6. You can see that there are two profiles available. There's a build profile that includes these packages, and a default profile that just includes the Python 3.6 package. We can also look at the Python 2.7 module profile information, and you can see that it has a default profile that includes the listed packages there. If you want to install from the modules, we can do a yum module install, Python 3.6, and we can also do a yum module install, Python 2.7. It is possible to have both Python 2 and Python 3 simultaneously on the same server, but please note that Python 2 will have a shorter life cycle than RHEL 8. Once we've installed Python 2 and or Python 3, you can see we still don't have a Python command available or a pip command available. Instead, we have a Python 3 available, Python 2 available, and we also have Python 3.6 and Python 2.7. So when you write your scripts, it's recommended to use uh, explicitly state Python 3 or even better, something like Python 3.6. If you really need to have just the Python command point to either Python 2 or Python 3, it is possible to set that up with the alternatives command and point to either user bin Python 3 or user bin Python 2. However, please note that this is not recommended because it can make different systems behave differently depending on how their alternatives have been set up. Once you've done this, though, you can see if you run Python minus minus version, it'll run whatever version was pointed to. If you need to install additional Python packages on the system, we do not recommend running just a sudo pip install in the package name. This is because installing an additional package could negatively affect the platform Python that the operating system relies on. One safer option for installing additional Python packages is to create a virtual environment with the command shown here. You can optionally specify the minus minus system site packages. When you run this command, it's going to create a new directory. Um, in this example, we specified nova client env. And what we can do is look under nova client env slash bin slash activate. And if we source that file, it'll put us into this virtual Python environment. From here, we can do a pip 3.6 install and a package name. In this example, we're going to do a pip 3.6 install python dash nova client. So this is going to go through and install that Python Nova client package. And what it's going to do is put it specifically in this virtual environment. So by doing the install in this virtual environment, we're not going to affect the Python 3 module that we installed or the platform Python that the system's relying on. Once the package has completed installation, what we'll do next is run a simple Python command here just to demonstrate that the package is available from within this virtual environment. So this is just going to import the package and then run test. And you can see it works. We're going to go ahead and run deactivate to leave the virtual environment. And we're back in the regular environment here. And if we run the same exact command, you'll see that now it cannot find the package. That's because we're back in the regular Python environment here. And we're not in that virtual environment where we installed the package. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you get a chance to try out Rel8 beta and install Python 2 and Python 3 on there. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you have a great day today.